Let's take a look at Grok Cloud. Not to be confused with Elon Musk Grok, that's G-R-O-K. Today we're looking at Grok with a Q. Now, Grok is an interesting company. They have developed their own proprietary technology in the language processing unit. It allows them to differentiate themselves by providing extremely fast performance, which you'll see here. Now, the first step, very straightforward. Just go to console.grok.com slash login, create an account. I always recommend using your email address rather than the third-party integrations, but that's up to you. Now that you've created your account and tested your access through the Grok portal, you might be thinking, that's great, but I don't necessarily want to use the portal. Is there a different way that I can interact with the models? And absolutely you can. So next, let's take a look at API keys. An API key is essentially a password. It will allow you to plug it into another piece of software and that authenticates your account. You might notice this button on the left, API keys, very straightforward. Click create API key, create a name, copy that, save it securely, treat it no different than any other password. Now I'll show you what I believe is the easiest way to access these models through the API. Some of you might be familiar with Brave already. You might have it installed, which is great. If you don't, all you need to do is go to brave.com, download and install just like you would any other application. Okay, so now that we have our API key, we've installed Brave. Now we need to configure Brave with access. Now, what I think is really cool about the Brave browser, they have a AI integration built in directly. So if you go over here to settings, navigate over here to Leo, that's what they're calling their AI capabilities built in. Now at the top, you'll notice they provide you with access to Claude 3 Haiku, which is awesome for free by default, but you can expand on the defaults by adding your own models. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see I've already configured Grok with the DeepSeq model. If you haven't configured any models yet, just click add new model. In the label field, it doesn't matter what you call it, call it whatever makes sense to you. The model request name must match exactly. So this is exactly the model name that shows in the Grok portal. And then for server endpoint, you need to type in https colon slash slash api.grok.com slash openai slash v1 slash chat slash completions. In the context size, you can customize that field more advanced. You don't really need to. And then in the API key field, just paste in that API key that we generated in the portal and you're good to go. Now that you've configured Grok in the Brave browser, there are a couple different ways you can access. You'll notice for me, I have the toolbar listed here on the right. It's also at the top here. Uh, so if we click on that, that's Leo. You can click on Leo settings and you'll notice I have a list of all the models I've configured. If I select, select Grok and then we'll paste the same prompts that we did in the portal. And there you have it. Almost immediate responses. At this point, you have free access to one of the most advanced technologies we've ever known, at least for now. Of course, this is a great method for personal use or testing. For any businesses out there, Grok does have enterprise plans. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you'd like to connect, my name is Cameron Roan. Feel free to shoot me a note on LinkedIn. Keep a lookout for more videos. Thank you.